Hey guys, it's Rafa here from Sunbury Futsal. I hope you're all doing well in this uh, time. Uh, I coach the under 12s. I also help out a lot on game nights. Um, just like to welcome you all to online training. I'm here helping Simon out. We've got a lot of drills, a lot of good demonstrations, and I hope you enjoy all the training you're going to receive in the coming weeks. Thanks. So we're just going to do a warm up. So we're just running from one line to the other, about two meters apart. And just jogging back, could be to your fence, could be to the garden, whatever be. Now we're just going to go sideways, clicking our heels each way as we go, to the line, to back. Come through the other way, using the other leg, click as we go. Make sure the heels touch each other, we spread our legs apart. Now we're going to go through to walking the vine, which is very difficult to do, but it's just moving one forward behind the other, one forward behind the other. As we come back through, just step through. You don't have to do it super quick, just as long as you're comfortable without falling over. As you can see, the footwork is very concentrating over getting the heels behind each other. As you go, you're crossing your legs, crossing the vine as you come back through. Now we're gonna go into some high knees, which is just touching your knees with your legs. So lifting your legs as high as you can to your hands not lowering your hands to your knees, lifting your knees to your hands. Then we're gonna come through the backwards, just tapping your bottom with your heels as you come through. So getting your legs nice and high behind you as you tap your bum. Now we're gonna go into lunges guys. So just one foot forward, one leg stretched, pretty straightforward. Keep your balance. You can touch the ground if you need, but try not to if you can. Just like when you play futsal, try not to touch the ball. Now we're going to try and link them all together. There's no hurry with this. Rewind, do it as many times as you need until you understand. But as you get further into this, this is a great warm up. If you can do this two or three times, it would be excellent. Okay, guys? So watch the demonstrators, and if you can, try and keep up the same pace. If not, do it at your own pace, which is fine. Ready? So it's just a jog through, touch the line, jogging backwards, coming through sideways. Touch the line, come back sideways, going the other way, working the legs, clicking the heels to the line, walk the vine, switching legs, trip toes. As you switch legs and you go through, just be careful not to fall over and try and keep your balance. Use your arms to balance just like on screen, okay? Knees up, hands out, knees high up to the hands, then back. With the feet, try to touch your bottom as much as you can as you keep moving through to warm up. This is just another repetition of it, so backwards and forwards. And again, do it at your own pace. If you feel warm now, you can have a rest. If not, you need more, keep going until you're warm before you can get up to stretches. Walk in the vine again, walk the vine. High knees, get the hands out, touch the knees. Behind now, touching your bum with your heels, clip them up, clip them up. Excellent. Now into lunges. Lunges is a bit of a cool down, but stretch as well. So as you're going through, stretch the legs, push it out through the front leg, feel it in the back. Now we move into proper stretches, guys. So we're just doing some lunges and we're gonna act actively involve the ball as well, okay? So if you've got your ball handy, this is a good time to have it nearby. So again, we're just gonna go into toe taps. Just with toe taps, you do it at your own pace, guys. If you need to do it for four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, we're just gonna keep moving the ball around. Now we're going into penguin feet, just between our heels, clicking it in, clicking it in. Again, as many touches on the ball just makes it easier for you guys to learn, all right? Now we're just going into a side lunge. So we're gonna stretch our hips a little bit here, guys. So you'll notice we'll bend one knee and straighten one leg, and then try and keep it to one side. Try and hold it rather than bounce on it, okay, guys? Because some people bounce and they think it's okay, but it's not. So just try and hold it like Rafa in center of the screen at the moment. His legs are making a nice diamond shape, and he's just keeping it solid, okay?
Now we're just going to move back into some toe taps, rolling the ball backward as we go. So moving with the ball, you don't have to move a far distance, only a short distance. Probably one to two, three meters at top. So in your backyard, and we'll show it from behind now. Just touching the ball with both feet as we bring it back. Okay, guys? We always concentrate on controlling the ball with the bottom of our sole. We'll just go into some more stretches. This is balance. So try and keep your arm out straight like Rafa in center of the screen and Declan on the right. Keep the arm up high and try and balance. When you go to your opposite leg, it's okay if you feel a bit like you're going to wobble. You can lean on a wall, a chair, or anything that's around that just keeps you stable. Okay, guys? Rafa's just explaining to Declan now. See how he's balancing? His arm isn't straight. He's not holding his leg up tight. Yep. You can lean on each other if you have your friend or your dad or someone that's helping you or your mom. And just try and get that balance so you can stay steady. Okay? Just the arm on arm. Leaning against each other. Again, use the wall if you need. Use whatever you need. So now we're just doing soul rolls. So a soul roll is just passing it to yourself. And controlling the ball as you run down the court your body should be in line with the ball and you shouldn't be facing the direction you're going you should be sideways to the way you're going and that's just controlling the ball so using the bottom of your foot your sole and bringing it back you can use both feet as you go but it's easier if you just constantly use the one foot and balance on the other foot now we're just going into a front lunge so on your knee balancing if you can't touch your foot that's okay if you, you can just reach on the ground and touch the ground and balance, stretching your lower back, leaning forward, or your hips. But it is easier if you can try and lean forward and touch your foot without touching the ground at the same time. If you need to touch the ground, just for balance, okay? Again, swap it over. You only hold these stretches for three to five seconds. So it's just a matter of counting one, two, three, finish. Okay, back to the ball now, guys. We're going to mix it up, have a little bit of fun now. I'm not sure if a lot of you know what juggling is. Juggling is when you balance the ball in the air between your feet without the ball touching the ground. With juggling, it's just fun, it's concentrating, it's trying to learn how to juggle a ball in your feet. It is very difficult, and we highly recommend that you do practice, but don't put too much pressure on yourself of how many you can get. One little rule that we like to use is use your age. So if you're five years old, if you can keep the ball off the ground five times, you're doing a great job. If you can't, it's just something to aim towards. Doesn't mean you're not very good at it or anything like that. It just is more to something to practice. So if you're 10 years old, you should try and practice so you can hit 10. We highly recommend using soccer balls for this because they are a lot lighter than a futsal ball. A futsal ball is a little bit heavier with a thicker skin and it is harder to juggle. So a soccer ball will always be easier. So now guys, we're just going to move into a little shooting drill. If you have a goal, this is really good to set up in your backyard. So just to explain what we've done, we're using three cones and a goal at the other end. The blue cones are just for an area to shoot from, guys, just a guide. So as the players are coming through, just touches the ball, just go through the best way you can, just to you feel your own groove as you come through. As we move forward with this, we're actually going to talk about techniques, okay guys? If you don't have cones that you can't use or nothing at home, you could use shoes or jumpers or hats or just anything that could be marked. It could be a rock, it could be anything, okay, guys? You don't need to have cones and you don't need to be on a netball court like we are at the moment. The main objective of going through these cones, guys, is controlling the ball, turning if you need, as it demonstrated now, turning around each cone as he goes. He's come back through, not rushing through, and then gets a shot off at the end. Note that he's always using, the guys are always using the, either the inside of their boot, the bottom of their boot being the sole, or turning and taking a touch as they control the ball. Declan here is touching the ball as he controls, swaps foot, rolls it to himself and shoots, 
All these techniques come in handy. Couple of touches through, Rabono on the way out. That's okay. If you can have some fun, rainbows, Rabonos, stuff like that, it's always enjoyable. Now, change it around so it's a different shape, guys. So instead of having three in a line, there's two to one side, one on the other. You can go any way you want around the cones. Doesn't matter, there's no right or wrong way. It's just a matter of you touching the ball as you come through and having a shot. Going backwards is good. Coming forwards, turning, coming back again. Shoot when you can. That's what it's about, guys. Don't worry about the shot at the end. It's more about controlling the ball through the cones. You don't have to go forwards all the time. You can come back, turn if you need, and then shoot. At this point, guys, these drills, they're just about footwork and what you can and can't do with the ball. Note, all players are keeping the ball very close to their foot so they can control the ball. They're not chasing the ball. They're only chasing the ball when they feed it to themselves. Now we've moved all the cones into four. With four, we're just controlling the ball as we go around. Again, no set pattern, no constant way you have to do it. Just look at some of these techniques, how they touch the ball on the inside of their boots as they come through. Everyone's doing the same. They're going from the outside, coming back around, and then turning at the last second to come out. Using the sole, controlling the ball, Taking a touch means taking a touch and stopping the ball to turn it in your direction. Takes a touch, turns it back the other way. Takes a touch, turns it. Control, touch, turn. Always using the bottom of the boot, the sole. It makes it a lot easier to control, especially when you have to maneuver on a court. Outside of the boot comes in handy too. Takes a touch to turn it the other way. Uses the outside of the boot. Which is just twisting your ankle so you're using the opposite side of your boot. Not the inside, the outside. Outside of the boot, take a touch, bring it back in. You always take a touch when you need to bring the ball back in. So if the ball gets away on you, take a touch, bring it back in. And then go through what the technique you're using. Using the soles. This technique is dragging the ball to the other foot. One foot stops the ball as the other foot passes it to you. It is quite a difficult technique for the younger guys. So if you can master this technique at a young age, it will only help you in your foot future futsal career. So it's a tap and a touch. Pass, touch, pass, touch, pass, touch, pass, touch. And he'll just roll it out. Faster version, pass, touch, pass, touch, pass, touch. Other foot, pass, touch, pass. Note how the pass comes from which direction you're running in, not so much the foot that you prefer. If you're running from the left, you pass from the left to the right. This is just sole touches all the way through. Again, just touch the ball as many times, but control it the whole time, guys. Again, sole touches, different technique, high knees, wide knees, keeping the ball between his feet at all time. Same type of technique. Just using the sole, high knees, controlling the ball at all times. And just remember guys, you can do it your own way. You don't have to do it a set way. You practice the way that you feel comfortable with. Now we move into a different configuration. So we're using three cones, similar technique, using the sole, turning the ball step by step as we go through. This is where it just turns into guys. You don't have to do it the same as this video. This video is just a guide of how you can touch the ball as you move through, but you can practice your own way. It is easier if you keep the cones further apart. So try and mix it up and keep them close. So only your body and the ball can fit through. The further they are away, 
the less you'll learn, guys. So try and keep them very close. So you have to work to not trip over the cones and work through the cones. Again, watching these techniques, very similar like we start with happy feet as we come through, touches on the inside. Coming backwards now, just like a pivot, swapping feet as he comes through the cones. Again, we're playing a game, it's just like follow the leader. So whatever the guy in front does, the guy behind has to copy. Swap feet as he comes through, yep. Using the outside of the boot, takes a touch to control, takes a touch outside of the boot. Remember, outside of the boot is away from your body, not close into your body. Takes a touch, outside of the boot, takes a touch, outside. Outside, takes a touch, control, outside, takes a touch, control. Using one foot to come around the cones, using the opposite foot to switch it up, and then using the sole. So this is using three or four techniques just to come through one passage of play. Again, inside, uses the sole to control. Now he's control with the sole, swapping feet as he moves, and then taps it out. Basically guys, it's just like follow the leader. If you can keep up, that's okay. If you can't, that's why it's pre-recorded. So you can tape it, pause it, rewind, go forward if you need, take your time. Add in a turn in now, turning with a pivot, controlling the ball at all times, keeping the planted foot on the inside of the ball, just in case the ball gets away so you can protect the ball. Again, touches, does a turn comes out with another turn one turn touch touch turn well played good turn control the whole time balancing takes his time which way is he gonna go comes back through again just like when you play guys sometimes you pre-plan it which way you want to turn if you can't go that way you have to go another way so that's why we practice turning in and out of tight situations Turn in, take a touch, turn out, comes back through. Now we move into four configuration. Again, we did touch on this before, but when it comes to four, three, two, it doesn't really matter guys. If you've got five, six, you wanna move it to 10, as long as you know where you want to move the ball and how you have to move the ball to get there. Inside, outside, sole touch, takes his time, thinks, comes back. This is a passing process for the families that have someone they can play with if you have a goal. So all it is, the player has the ball, parent or friend passes it back in and they shoot. The player starts with the ball, passes it off first, then always moves towards the goals. The goals could be your fence, it could be your garage, it could be anything. As long as you have somewhere where you can shoot the ball, it's a first pass, comes back to player, and then they shoot. The pass. Just has to be in front of the player, enough so the player can meet the ball and then shoot in one motion. So we're trying to encourage all players not to stop and wait for the ball. So once you pass the ball, you don't have to move straight away, but when the ball comes rolling at you, try not to stop to meet it. You want to meet the ball and move in one motion. Again, parents, friends that are passing the ball, try and pass it in front just to make it that little bit easier for the player. Now we're going to turn it into a bit of a fun competitive game. This can be done with two players. At the moment we're using three just as a demonstration. 
So what it is, the goalkeeper is the defender. He throws the ball out to the attacker. And then the defender comes forward to meet the player. In this scenario, what we're trying to encourage is when the player that has the ball is attacking, they have two decisions. They either take on the player that's in front of them, which would be the defender, or they take a touch and shoot straight away. That was a perfect example of trying to shoot straight away. The defender was in the way and it hit the defender. Again, as the ball comes out, one player is in attack, one player is in defense. He takes a shot straight away and it nails it. Takes a touch, shot, can't get through, unlucky. Takes a touch, take on the player. Because he hasn't shoot, shot I should say, you know that the player is going to take you on. So if the player doesn't shoot off the first touch, it will result in a turnover. Ball comes out, orange in attack, yellow in defense. Takes a touch, wants to take on the player, turns the player, creates a different avenue, shoots, unlucky. Remember, if there's just two of you, there's no goalkeeper. We're only using a goalkeeper just for today to collect the ball because we don't want it going too far away from us. Shot. Orange attack, takes a touch. No shot, brings it to defender, tries to play defender on. Can't get past, goes back to defender to pass it back out. Remember, try and create some space. So if the ball comes to you and someone's right next to you, create some space. Takes a touch, no shot, takes on the defender. Tries to turn, comes the other way. Got a shot, deflection goal. Again, encouragement of trying to get a shot off where the defender should stand. Either meet the ball, once they take a touch, don't let them take you past you. Excellent. Remember, when it's at this area and you can score a goal, sometimes it's easier just to take a touch and shoot rather than take on everyone in front of you. Take a touch, no shot, wants to take on the defender, fakes a shot, can't get through, unlucky. Take a touch, does a turn, fakes a shot, brings it back, tries to turn the defender, tight angle, he's through, unlucky, defender got a touch on the ball. That's all it takes as a defender. You don't have to dive in. Remember, you can just try and stop the ball without putting your whole weight in front of the player so they can turn you. Yellow in defense, orange comes forward, wants to take him on, fake shot, again, through the legs, up Meg, misses the That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week.